so guys in today's video we're going to be talking about how you can live stream on YouTube and if you guys just got your PC and you're trying to wonder how to stream on YouTube we're going to be you guys came to the right video but don't forget to subscribe and like the video and let's get to it so open up your web browser and search up streamlabs.com just search up streamlabs.com right here and it's going to look like this it's a good it's um a good website it's um it's just good uh pokemon uses it all the streamers uses it it's one of the best streaming um it's one of the best streaming streaming companies out there so what you want to do is where it says download streamlabs you want to press it and it's going to start downloading once you download it it's going to ask you to sign in to YouTube. Y it, you could stream on Twitch and YouTube and all of those websites, but we're talking about YouTube today. So once you sign into your YouTube, it's going to look like this. Black screen, you honestly don't know what to do. So right here, it's going to say scenes. This is your scenes right here. So just keep that right there. So next thing you want to do where it says this plus button right here, you want to click it. And where it says display capture, display capture is where it um, records your screen, like like it records your screen, your game capture, and all that. So what you want to do is click on it, add source, and if it looks like half cut right here, all you want to do is right click it, transform, and stretch the screen. Once you stretch that to screen, once you do that. Uh, you want to add alert box. Alert box is when, so when someone follows, it gives them a notify. It, it pops up a notification on the screen that someone followed. This is an important thing, and to me, it's important because whenever I follow someone, I like my name on there. So, I I don't know if other people like that, but I like it. So, just add source, add source, and it's gonna be like this. And if you want to test it how it looks like, it's going to say test widgets right here. All you want to do is just click where it says test widgets. Click it. And it's going to be like that. If you want the star, I'll talk about it in the next video. But it's going to be like a per, like a zombie walking. Like it's default. Like, yeah. So once you do that, all you want to add is your audio output device. It's where it records your game not records your game it you could hear the game audio like the game audio so you just want to add that add source done so it could hear the game audio once you do that and if you have a camera if you have a camera all you want to do is just add video capture device add source my camera isn't on right now so if your your camera is going to pop up like right here all you want to do is press done and you could adjust it like that and if you want to remove one of these, all you want to do is click on it, re right click it, and remove it. And that's how you do it. So you basically got your stream ready. I mean, like, like you don't need anything else, but if you, but like, you get used to it. But if you want all of these, all you have to do is just press add source, and you're good. Just move it around. Then you can get all of these chat box, your chat, and all of that. But we're not going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking like a normal stream. Boom, done. So, once you add your source, all you want to go is right here to your settings. And it's going to look like this. So, your settings are on the right bottom. So, if you guys want good quality, all you guys want to do is go to output. It's going to look like this. It, it's going to be simple. All you want to do is advance. And make sure your encoder is hardware ni and v uh, e and c new if you have that and n for streaming service encoder settings so it's gonna be using your GPU and make sure this is at CBR so at your bit rate and you have if you have really good internet I would put this at six thousand but if you have not that good internet I would put it at four thousand or five thousand. And then your keyframe, just keep that at zero. And your preset, you want to add max quality. And your profile at high. And psycho visual tuning is like when you play like like games like that that involve like moving a lot around. You wanna you wanna uh, check it. 
so you're good right here and then for your recording all you want to do is where you want your recording to go to so yeah, you want to browse it so if you want to go to your documents your videos you could do all that just press select folder and then boom you're good and then make sure this is at standard and advanced and once you do that make sure your recording format is mp4 and make sure it's hardware hardware and then your it makes a CBR and then make this 6000 and then make your preset max quality your profile high and cycle visual tuning so once you've done that you go to audio and this is your audio right here make sure your mic Sicily device one is what you might what you want your mic as so I want my mic as this so once you do that you go to video and it's gonna be like this make sure this is at 1920 by 180 and make sure this is at 19 by 1080 so once you record a video it's gonna come out at 180 so yeah and your downscale filter make sure it's at Lancos this one and then common FPS value 60 and boom and then advanced this is basically nothing and then scene collections and then go to game overlay and enable game overlay so you can see the chat like this uh, I don't know I don't know what's going on I don't know why I can't see the chat it's gonna pop up let me just enable it and enable it done if something should pop up right I don't know why it's not working you should just pop up right there but once you do that, you're set. Like, you're set for the stream. And if you do not have a second monitor, all you want to do is toggle positioning mode. And this is going to pop up. So so you could just see chat without looking at your phone like this. All you want to just move it like that and just move it like that if you don't have a second monitor. That's how you do it. But if you don't want it or you want to go, go back to Game Overland and remove it. And then once you get that, go live and you're set, boys and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and peace out boys